Hi, this is Elizabeth Johnson with Southern Embellishment, and I'm here with my March design team project for Ephemeris Vintage Garden. I have my 10-year-old grandson filming for me today. He's learning to do this so I can move forward with my videos. This month I'm using uh, the Victorian Romance Digital Collection, and I wanted to start out by showing you what all you get with this digital kit. It is an absolutely gorgeous kit, and this is the ephemeris sheets of paper uh, that I printed out on cardstock. We have two different sizes of tags here. And then we have these nice large tags and um, banners, little ephemera pieces. And then I fell in love with these. Um, this is three really large tags, and I cut them out so you can see. They're very, very, I just, I love them. Uh, I will actually be incorporating these in my April project uh, and showing you an idea for those. I just think they are beautiful. I really fell in love with the large tags that she used. So that's the ephemera that comes with the kit. And then... Here are the pages. Uh, I do want to show you this page, which I you'll see in my uh, journal when I get it, show you my journal. Um, this is a lined, very faintly lined pink, uh, very nice pink, and it has like, looks like, you know, coffee cup stains on it. Uh, very faint in the background, but it makes it really nice. And so... Uh, you can use that for journal pages, or I use it to actually line the back of the design papers. But for however you want to use it, but I thought that was a nice addition that I used and really liked it in my journal. Uh, this is the this is the size they come, and then I'll show you how I downsized to make a minty, a minty, a mini vintage journal. Um, and on the little one that I made, I cut these to make. Uh, tags and cards. So there's one page. And I love this like Victorian map with roses. And she has this lace that I actually cut and, and utilized also. This is the third page. Collage digital pages. Fourth one. The fifth one. And my grandson has the giggles. The sixth one, beautiful birds and vintage ladies and roses. And seven and eight. So you get eight gorgeous pages, uh, journaling pages in, in the digital kit. Now what I did for this month's project is I resized, to give you an idea, um, this is the regular size, and I resized it to a 5 by 7 And now that's open. That's not, like when you close it, it's going to be smaller than that. But I resized it, and I believe I used the 5 by 7 size and made it smaller. I wanted to do something small, and at the time, um, I just I thought I just want to fill it with lace. I just want it to be very girly and vintage -y and and so... Um, I resized them, and I just love, I love this size. You can see I put seam binding on this. This is actually for a second one I'm going to make. Um, I just went ahead and printed out. I think I got two, two or four on the page. I can't remember, but I just love this map. I think it's wonderful. And these are pinks and greens and just gorgeous colors. So here's the journal. Um, as I said, I resized to this size. And so here's the journal that um, I made, the little mini journal. And I so enjoyed making this. It was, um, it was a different size for me, and, and I just loved it. And as you can see, it's just full of fibers and, and threads and laces and material. And I just loved it. I just set up my sewing machine and made it. I just loved it. Did a lot of sewing in this one. Um, I used craft text for the back, for the cover itself, which I'm in love with the craft text. And I inked it up. And this, this particular piece I had washed in the washer and dried in the dryer. And um, 
then I ironed it, I crumpled it and ironed it and all that, and then I inked it up. But I love the craft text. Uh, on the binding here, you'll see that, or on the spine, you'll see that I put rosettes on it with little pearls. And for the cover, I have these these corners. Now these are actually buttons I got from Joann's and so I just glued those on the corners and uh, sewed a little flower button for the closure um, and have seam binding and lace too. And on the back I put a, I punched a hole to run my seam binding through and then I covered that with a lace flower. Took a piece of the journal pages and inked them up and, and sewed them on. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but I sewed it with the flower design from my sewing machine, which does different different stitches. Uh, I took one of the ephemera pieces, the one of the tags, and inked it up. And I also, if you can see the shimmer, I sprayed it with um, some perfect pearls to give it some shine. Put a little bling up there and some. Uh, I put used distress stain and put on cheesecloth and put behind it. And also they have, there's an envelope that's in the, the ephemera kit and I glued the envelope on the front. But inside of that is another one of the tags. And so there is a tag and I stapled the, um, with Tim Holtz tiny attachment, a little piece of uh, Surrey ribbon and slid that in there. So there's a little tag on the front pocket. And I put a piece of doily on the flap with ribbon. And down here you'll see a pink paper clip with a little charm, a little gem on it. And the reason for that is um, I have this envelope, and you'll see a little charm on this side too. And I have, I made this little pouch out of a piece of tea dyed paper and inked it up. And I really got into, uh, with this, I have been watching Amity Bloom. If you haven't tagged into her yet, please do. She's got some really sweet ideas. And so she, uh, what I've seen ever, she does mostly the uh, Traveler's Notebook journals. But she's been using these uh, material flips, like tip ends, but they're sewed in. And I fell in love with that idea because I love material, I love paper, and, and all of that. I love making things out of it. So you'll see through the, the journal that I really, I used that idea from her. So thank you, Amity, for that idea. I love it. So I made this little envelope pouch, and I decorated. This is some tea dyed Tim Holtz tissue paper. So you can, you know, journal underneath there and cover it if you have a little secret. And then I put this little, uh, here are some tags. I kept the three tags together on this one and inked them up and made just a little tag book. And then this was a little envelope with a little keepsake library-like card. And uh, so that's the outside of the little, I just sewed the sides and made the paper and did a little hole punch here. And inside we have some uh, journaling, a little journaling card, and then this was just some scraps. Now what I liked about using this size of uh, journal is, uh, except for downloading, except for the digis that I resized, um, there you can see where I inked up the craft text. But except for the digitals that I resized, everything else was scraps that I had laying around. And um, so I was able to utilize small pieces of ephemera, small pieces of scrap to put in this journal. And it was a, a great way to use it. And uh, so I like that real well. And on this signature, it's got three signatures. And the first one, I have a little piece of doily here with ribbon sewn on. A lot of sewing, as I said. And you'll see where I sewed on the back. I, I took two pages together of the small size. I just took uh, and sewed. I didn't do any gluing. I just took and sewed around the edges. And uh, then folded them in half. And they, they were just perfect. And so on each of, back of the, each of the signatures, I put the lined paper. Here's just a little bit of um, stickers there. And here I took material and sewed this in, but this is a piece, uh, just a piece of ephemera paper 
on that and I sewed that in and did a little uh, edge punching there with another one of those little stickers. And then there you'll see where I bent the material over and that way it's showing from both sides. Here's a little fabric tab on this piece of tea dyed paper. And up here is one of the little banners uh, from, and I'm sorry, I feel like I'm moving the book around a lot. Uh, one of the little banners from the ephemera kit, and I just took one of the pieces, one of the, this is the one that I cut out of the paper, made a little tag out of, and put some lace on there. Here's some ledger paper that I folded and sewed into a pocket. And in this, I put uh, Debbie Ann. She's always so gracious. And this year's freebie, uh, and if you join her her club, it you get freebies, and she's always good about that. And so this is one of the freebies for uh, March, and it's called Love and Hope. And so I took the tags from that and put them in here because the colors just went so well. It's got the same color line in it. So I just uh, put some ribbon and lace on there and inked them up. And then here's a little piece of scrap tea dyed paper. Another little place to journal. So that's in there. And I edge punched this paper here. This piece of paper, I don't know if you can see the glimmer, but I used Glimmer Mist and uh, misted that up. And that was a piece I've had in my scrap box for oh, a couple of years now. So the colors went real well in here. It's got a gold shine to it. Here's a piece of Tim Holtz, another piece of that tea dyed tissue paper. And here is, uh, this is what I seen on Amity Bloom where she took and covered the whole page. And I took material up here and just tipped it in and sewed it. And then underneath there is a page to journal on. And I, again, I just love that. Sewed some material here for a tuck spot. And here's another one of the Love and Hope tags. More tissue paper. And then this is the other side of the glimmer misted page that I did as a fold out. And then here is on the ledger I sewed in lace and, and two different types of ribbon for a tuck spot. And that's the other, another one of the Love and Hope. And I just put some lace at the top of that for a tab. And here I, um, oh wait, I missed a spot. On this side I put material and one of the little pieces of ephemera from the kit. And another Love and Hope tag. And over here I... You can see the material. I always folded the material over the edge so I would get, you know, kill two birds with one stone and have two pages decorated. And uh, here's a little piece of the Tim Holtz tissue paper I made into a banner with a piece of the ephemera. Just a little journaling page. Again, tea dyed. And this is a tip in. You can tip it. I'm not a tip in. I'm sorry. Uh, tuck spot. It can be two or one, however. And then here's another. Edge. And then there's the end of that signature. And then on this one I used, uh, I this lace in and of itself I didn't really like, but when I put it into the journal, I really like the sparkly in it. And um, I don't know if you can see the sparkle from there, but it's just got little sparkles in it. And put a little piece of that lace with this uh, braided ribbon, sewed around it, sewed the line page on there. And uh, here's a pull out there. Another piece of material. And I left the strings long and the person I've already uh, I have this ready for a swap. I'm, I'm swapping it out at um, Vintage I'm sorry, I'm swapping it out at Junk Journal Junkies in their Vintage Mini Junk Journal swap. Um, so this will be on its way shortly but um it, if and the person that gets it if they don't want the strings they can cut them off but i like that look i love that look i just think it adds to it so this is a little another little fabric tab um and i had made a pocket out of this scrap a piece of scrapbook paper that was a scrap and i took the music paper scraps and made a little book some more of that tea dyed paper for little journaling spots 
And then I tagged or tipped in with the material I tipped in of Tim Holtz. He dyed tissue paper. Here's another little tiny tip in. I had these squares. They're cut for a quilt. And I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and use some of those. And uh, I had them on hand, and I wanted to use what I had on hand and didn't want to buy more. And so I used the material I had on hand. Here's another little material tab. Another little tip in. Sewn in tip in. And then here's a piece of music paper. This is seam binding sewed on, and that folds out. Here's another piece of scrap paper I've had in my stash for a while. And another piece of ephemera and a lace for a tuck spot. And this was a little piece of scrap from that line of paper. And then I took and I sewed my signatures together on the sewing machine. But then I went ahead and I pamphlet stitched them into the craft text cover. Don't ask me why. No rhyme or reason. Just decided to do it that way. This is the other side of that. Here's a tuck spot with the material and a femur piece and then one of the tags. And then over here, I received in the mail, it was actually a Discover Card application, and this was the envelope, and it is so gorgeous. And so I took a corner, a snippet of that, and made a tuck, corner tuck with the tags, more of that paper, and cards that come with the ephemera packet. The other side of the music paper with the seam binding sewed on. And this paper I took and uh, did it sewed a tip in and lace and I folded it and then I made another little tuck spot for the tag. Here is another of the uh, pieces of ephemera I'm trying to think of the name of this. I think it's Industrial Chic. I think it's Industrial Chic, but I could be wrong. But it was a whole pack of ephemera pieces that I thought was so cool. So I, I sewed that in. And underneath there is a fabric tab also. There's the other side. And then here's the other side of that uh, piece of paper that I made. It's sewed a pocket. Here's a fabric tab. And here is two pieces of the ephemera. I left these, you saw these on the big cards, but I left these together, inked them up, and made a little booklet, uh, or a little booklet uh, journaling spot in one of the tags, and then more of that paper. I got as many tags out of that piece of paper as I could. The other piece of that, and the end of that signature. Then here is the um, the map, which I think is just so gorgeous. Now on this one, uh, I sewed another piece of the digital paper on the other side. Again, no gluing. I just sewed it and then folded it. It did fine. Here's a piece of that ephemera sewn in with a fabric tab on tea dyed paper. Here's another little tuck spot. Even though I don't have a tag there, it is a tuck spot. And that's a little piece of ephemera. I resized the ephemera too. So now on the bigger journals, that's going to be larger. But this was downsized for this. Here's another little tiny scrap of that Tim Holtz tissue paper and a banner there, which could be used as a tuck spot. A fabric tab. And I believe this was, I yes, I left this in three too. And then I attached lace and ribbon to that and inked it up as a journaling spot. The other side of the, and I just liked it in the middle. I didn't go all the way across. And then here is the other side of the, um, or another piece of that paper. And in, in here, this is where I cut, uh, if I can find that sheet that had the extra all the extra little, I mean, it was just the collage was done a little differently to where I could cut it apart and make ephemera out of it. So that's what I did with it. So this was the sheet. Of course, I downsized it. This, this is, as you can see, let me move the journal for just a minute. As you can see, and this, this may seem, I mean, it may, you may know how to do this already or whatever. If you don't, you would like to know how to resize, just leave a comment uh, in this comment section below and I will 
get back with you on it and do my best to help you. But uh, as you can see, the difference in the size. And so I just, I left these together and, and inked them up and made that a little um, journaling spot also. And then in the envelope is the lady. And I just cut that out and made that a journaling spot, which fit perfectly in this envelope that I had forever and a day in my stash. That, As I said, my goal this year is to use what I have. And if I stick with my goal of using what I have, it could take me probably 10 years because I have a lot. Um, this, is, well, this was a journaling card and I just folded it in half, put some ribbon on it. And here's another Tim Holtz tipped in with fabric. As you can see, I really didn't do any stamping in here. I was really into the fabric and the and the tip ins and, and all of that. So I didn't do any stamping. This uh, this is one of those things that you just say, oh well, I'm not gonna throw it away. I'm gonna go ahead and use it and had a bad day. Had a bad day. And that's all I know right now. But anyway, uh, I happened to sew this tag on upside down. And instead of turning the music paper upside down, which was a big surface, I just thought, oh, well, we'll put the music upright, leave the tag upside down, and say, did it on purpose. But I didn't really. So, But it's a tuck spot. It was just a bad moment that I messed up. <laughs> and I know we all have them, so... I'm being real here. This is a real world that we live in, and I'm being real. Here's another piece of material, and this was on the salvage edge, but I love the numbers, and I didn't want to throw it away, so I just cut it off and, and tipped it, sewed it in like that. So there's some music paper seam binding, and this little piece folds out. Here's another one of those pieces of ephemera I sewed on with lace, and this is actually double lace on each side of the page, and did a little tip in with that. Little sticker and ribbon on the other side of that tag. And I don't know if you can see those hearts real well, but they're like little enamel stickers. So we'll flip out. And then here's another one of those pockets. And did so that on there, but um, here's one of the pieces from the uh, digital kit. This was another photo mat, and so I just I just folded it, tri-folded it, and put it in there as a journaling spot. Here's another full page tip in a material. I love this material, and I thought the roses went very well with the digital kit. Tipped it in with some lace. Here's another one of the pieces from the kit that I folded in half and, and tipped it in with a fabric banner. And, or I'm sorry, fabric uh, tab and left it together as a little booklet. And here's the back of that little piece of doily with ribbon sewn on. I really enjoy the sewing part. So on the back of the, on the back page, the back flap of the book, uh, the cover, I put this large tag. As I told you, I'm in love with these tags. I, and I meant to put a piece of bling there. Before I swap it, I need to put something right there. But what I did is I put this so you couldn't see the flap. It's, it's actually glued on there so you, it would cover what stuck up above the book. Put the doily and the ribbon. And then I made this. I sewed it on three sides and made it a pocket. And inside the pocket I have, I took a piece of the, um, where I had, you know, folded them in half. I just cut it in half again and made a journaling tag. I put some braid on there and this is another one of those fab, um, I'm sorry, um, photo mats that I had in my stash. And so I just put a little bit of lace. And so that is a pocket. And we'll put that in there later. How about that? So that is my little mini vintage junk journal that I made for March for Ephemera's Vintage Garden using the... Victorian, I believe it's, yes, Victorian Romance. It's a gorgeous collection. I'm looking forward to working with it again in April. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out Vintage Junk Journal uh, uh, Facebook page 
and you'll see so much inspiration. Check out Amity Bloom. We'll put her link down below. And I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Once again, Debbie, thank you so much for your beautiful creations and sharing your talent with us uh, in your digital kits. Enjoy. Make something beautiful today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.